Hello everyone. In late spring of 1972, the East Coast was devastated by what would be the largest hurricane on record for the month of June. In my home state of Pennsylvania alone, it caused more than $2 billion worth of damage in Pennsylvania, including 68,000 homes destroyed, 38 businesses destroyed, and 48 deaths were reported more than any other state. I bring this point up for two reasons. One, J this June will be the 50th anniversary of the Agnes hurricane. And two, in 1972, the technology was not available for officials to make a more accurate map of the storm's trajectory. And that's what we'll be discussing today. To become more accurate with hurricane forecastings, no Agencies such as NOAA and the Woods Hole or Oceanic Institute are deploying several different types of devices, such as the spray glider, Argo floats, and Rayfos floats, which are accurately measures ocean temperature, density, composition, conductivity, salinity, and ocean currents. Now, co now collecting these types of data would be important in and of itself. However, when you combine them with the need for better hurricane trajectories, or I'm sorry, better hurricane forecasting, the, the information now becomes life-saving for millions of people. As an example, when, when the, the whole, the um, whole, the Woods Hole Oceanic Institute deployed the Rayfos floats and later, and later, gliders during the Deep Horizon disaster, they were able to determine the loop current of the Gulf of Mexico had changed its current path and became shallower in the Gulf of Mexico, thus forming an eddy closer to Louisiana. With this information, they were able to allocate emergency resources closer to the Gulf states and not on the East Coast where they would be pretty much useless. Similarly, when NOAA had deployed gliders and Argo floats and expandable bath thermographs during the tropical storm Claudette in 2021. These devices were able to transmit real-time information back to scientists, thus allowing them to better forecast and using these ocean features would be key to improving hurricane intensification guidance. So what, is all, so what does the future hold? Well, considering that the Earth is 70% water, and we st still know very, and we still know very little about ocean currents. In fact, an entire section of the size of Africa has no salt in any data at all. Research, researching sections such as these will allow scientists and researchers to do to better understand such things like global warming, migrations of animal and plant life, and aid in researching, researching in the mapping of the ocean floor. With all the information gathered, man will, will have a better understanding on the planet in which he lives, and perhaps hurricanes such as Agnes, the, the Agnes hurricane of 1972, and the deaths and the damage that had occurred perhaps never happen again. My name is Steve Young, and I thank you for listening to my presentation.